got him. Oh my god. That's a good one. My gosh, that's more like a freaking four or five pounder right there, people. Last cast with the worm, then we're gonna tie on the popper. Take a couple casts up here at these rocks on this bank where I kept getting bit. And then if we don't catch one, I'm gonna tie the worm back on and we're gonna keep heading down. But I wanna see if these fish will hit a popper because they were definitely there, stacked up. And I think that they still could be. It's just getting them to eat. For good luck. There we go. Got him. That's a bass. That's a bass. That's a bass. I knew that would work. I just had a feeling. That's not a bad one either. Not a bad little dude. Oh my goodness. Calm down, buddy. Yeah. Top water bite. I'll tell you what, these little dudes right here are ferocious. They are ferocious. He's a little chunky boy. I'll tell you that. Caught that one on top water in the middle of the day in the shade. I just had a feeling that the, the popper would work and it did. So that's awesome. I love that. We're going to go ahead, get this boy back. There he goes. Bye bye. All right, we're rolling. I'm actually gonna leave this tied on and I'm gonna fish with this popper some. So I've been throwing a worm all the way up here. So the green worm, it is a different color, but it is the same action. So this might trigger a different bite, especially from a bigger fish. I feel like a big old bass is gonna eat the top water. We'll see. I don't like this spot, it's not as juicy. Oh, got him. Little one. <laughs> that was a little baby. He's probably about this big, but he hit the popper. So if we got two fish on it, I think that means that they're gonna eat it today. I just want one to erupt on it, knock it out of the water. Not just slurp it up. I want to freaking blow up. Oh, good gosh. I wanted to blow up. That's what I got right there. I don't even know what happened. Just like I set the hook and he wasn't there for some reason. Oh my gosh. That was a freaking blow up right there. I'll tell you that. I don't know what that was. I think it was a bass. Oh my gosh, I saw him miss it. He missed it. I set the hook just out of reaction. Probably gonna catch a warm mouth right here. Could catch a lunker. Cause right down there is where our big bass came from. Oh my God, he missed it. He missed it. Oh my God. That was a good one. And he totally missed it. I about set the hook. Come on, come back. He totally missed it. That was a freaking explosion right there. Please hit it again. Please hit it again, fish. He got it that time. Oh my God. 
Are you serious? I don't even know if this is a bass. If this is a bass, this is the craziest bass I've ever seen in my life. Okay, it is a bass. It's just a big bass. It's exactly what it is. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. That's the biggest one of the day. He's got to be the biggest one of the day. Oh my God, that's a giant. That's a good one. I don't know. Oh my gosh, he has me on a rock. Oh, come on. Come on, come on, come on. These river fish are so strong. Come here. Come here. Come here. Come here. I don't know. He's my, he might not be as good as that one from earlier. Oh, he just hit me in the leg. <laughs> come here. Come here. Come here. Up and up. Up and up. Come on. Be a good girl. Be a good girl. Yeah, baby. That is like the exact same size as earlier. I think the other one was a little bit bigger. I think so. Oh, my goodness. That fish was literally going like haywire like i don't know what he was doing most hyper fish i've caught in a very long time hit the popper that is crazy got us another good fish another big girl in the same pool as that other one that tree is like down there this one's a little bit farther up but she nuked the live target popper we're gonna go ahead and get her back all right Got this beauty. We're gonna go ahead and get her back. Awesome blow up. Top water, river bass. Really can't beat that. That's awesome. Thank you. Here she goes. Stupid leaves. I love fall fishing, but come on now. There's definitely potential for me to catch another big one out of this area because down there is where I had that big one earlier and I just caught that other big one right here so there's definitely potential for there to be multiple decent sized fish in this one pool because I think it's deepest and it also has a lot of structure in it a lot more than these other ones for some reason Got him. Another decent fish. Oh my goodness. It's so much fun. Definitely not the size of those other ones. He's a chunky one though. He's a chunky guy. Look at that thing. I mean, he is. He's got a little bit of bulk to him. I'll say that. He's got a little bit of a, uh, of a belly another one on the popper you gotta love catching them on top water especially when they blow up like that I get this this buddy back in thank you I'll tell you what I might end up catching more fish on the way down than I did up just because of the bait change that goes to show you if you fished an area don't be scared to refish it because those fish do reload and you can actually catch the same fish that you've already caught. I've done it plenty of times, which sounds crazy, but it's true. If those fish are feeding, if they see a different style bait, a lot of the times they'll eat it. Don't throw her on back out there in the water. Don't try to catch us a big old bass. A lot of times they like to be swimming in the water and you throw your lure out there and they just don't eat it right up. Just come up and go all over your top water. And then you just set the hook and he's on there. You reel him in. That's how it works. I don't know what that is. But there's something down there in the water. Oh my gosh. I think it's a fish. Oh, that's definitely got to be a fish. What is that? Are you serious? What is that thing? What is that? Oh my gosh, I want to see what it is. I can't even tell. What is that thing? Now he's actually in the water. It's like a black fish. 
It might get stuck in that tree. I'm hoping it does so I can see what it is. We gotta go see what it is. Where did it go? That might have been it right there. I don't even know what that was. I couldn't get here fast enough. It was like a black, some sort of black object. Are you serious? It looked like a big catfish or something maybe. It like came all the way through this entire area of current and he got washed down into here. What the heck? That's crazy. I've never seen anything like that before. Never in my life have I seen a fish go through this i mean that had to be deliberate i mean there's no way the fish accidentally got in the current and kept going that fish was trying to swim downstream and it looked like a black fish some sort of black fish maybe it was like a snakehead or something or a bowfin crap 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 come out please dang it Turds. Son of a biscuit, dude. Can you just give me my bait back, please? Son of a biscuit. That didn't work. Gotcha. <laughs> yeah, boy. Yeah, boy. Back in business, boys and girls. Oh, God. Probably just scared all the fish in the river. But we good, man. On to the next one. There it is. That's what those are. What is that? Is that an otter? That's exactly what I saw. I think. What is that? Yeah, it's an otter. Oh my gosh. That's what I saw in the stream earlier. That's exactly what it was. It was an otter. Well, at least we know what they were. Because that has to be what it was. That idea did cross my mind, but it just... I figured an otter probably wouldn't be swimming in the current like that. Like, in the middle of the downstream. So, oh gosh, I got one. Nope, that was a brim. Okay, I about had a heart attack. I was like hung in the tree halfway, had my bait in the water at the same time. I didn't hear a blow up. I don't even know what's going on. But I thought an otter was a fish, and now I know that the otter is not a fish. And there is no snake heads in here or weird black fish that's non existent. Moral of the story, otters look like blackfish. We're gonna go ahead and head out. We went upstream today all the way to the dam like you guys saw and it ended up paying out pretty good. Uh, caught a bunch of fish. What I didn't like was seeing all that snake skin and seeing that snake. But I guess that's what you get if you're gonna go fishing in a river and you're walking around with them in their environment. Kind of like sharks at the beach. People wonder why they get shark attacked. I thought I was gonna get snake attacked. But anyways, I am headed out. So thank you guys for watching this video. I uh, hope you guys enjoyed it. It's another river video. I know a lot of people are saying, go do more river fishing, do more river fishing, fish more dams. So that's what I'm trying to do. I'm trying to do some stuff you guys like to do. And I have a lot of rivers around me. So if you guys really do like the river videos, let me know in the comments so that way I can keep making them. I'll keep making them as long as you guys like to watch them. So be sure to subscribe. And be sure to like and comment. I don't want you to miss any of this crazy content that's coming up soon. You can tell we're growing and we're going quick. So you want to be a part of that for sure. So go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Thank you guys so much again for watching. And we will see you on the next episode. Go catch them.